What is up guys, I'm back again with another video and today is one we will be creating, we will be recreating basically among us character design in a different art style basically anime art style, anime inspired art style is basically my art style, that's how I draw and let's see how it turned out to be in this video coming up So the first task was to decide the design of the character how it will turn out to be because the main reason behind that was there was a lot of room left by the developers or the artists of Among Us for the people to imagine how these characters might look in a much more humanized form. So I kind of exploited that freedom and I went too far with drawing more muscular suits because that's how I draw stuff. However, there was a major emphasis on making these suits look little similar, not little, as similar as possible to the suits which were used by the astronauts of SpaceX. But instead, it ended up looking more like a Power Ranger. However, for the body type, I wanted the character to look much more mesomorph in structure. In much more simpler words, I wanted the character to have a short height, but a bulkier body. Kind of similar to the actual source material. However, I ended up changing it a little bit at the very end of drawing it. But we will be discussing it later on. So after I finalized the sketch, I imported it to Krita because we love Krita, we don't use anything else. Uh, I started working on the line art. Obviously, if it would have been any other project, I would have spent a little bit more time on refining the overall artwork, line art. However, I wanted to complete it within one day. And because of that reason, I kind of ended up rushing the entire project. I personally think if I would have given myself a little bit more time, I could have done a way better job at this. But still, I was happy that I actually was able to complete this within one day. Now for adding flat colors, I created a clipping mask and I added a simple grey color. And then I started to divide the entire character design using a selection tool. I did it to make it much more easier for me to add and organize my colors later on. Because when I started working on the project, I yet had to decide or actually finalize the color scheme I wanted to go for. So there were two color combinations which were running in my mind while I was working on this sketch. The first combination was of uh, red and white, in which the red will be more dominant color and the white one will be the supporting color. And the second one was yellow and black. However, I ended up using yellow in the final render because red and white were not going very well together. Now coming to a little bit of ambient occlusion and grayscaling. So this is the part where I tend to spend the most of my time working on on my usual projects. Usually I spend more than 4 to 5 hours on just nailing or properly applying the ambient occlusion. However, since as I mentioned this is not my usual project, I wanted to complete this artwork for this particular video within one day. So I ended up trimming my entire process for this one as well. Now for lighting, I went with a much more simpler approach. For that, I made a quick clipping mask and added a transparent red layer. Then I ended up erasing some portions of that red layer to define the form and the structure of my overall character. For the background, I created a black imposter victory scene which is in the game. However, I tried other backgrounds as well which might go well with the entire character. And then I added a little bit of texture and little extra lighting. Now as I said in the very beginning of the video, I wanted to kind of experiment with the overall body structure and the proportion of the character. So I ended up creating another alteration of the final character render which was much more thin much more skinny and much more taller than the original one. So I created two of these characters with two different body structures. So yeah, there you go. If you like the character design, you can press the thumbs up, you can subscribe, you can turn on the notifications because I make content related to digital art and specifically for Krita on weekly basis. And yeah, if you want to comment down any questions, comments or suggestions, I'm open to that as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.